20 most amazing discoveries from World War II. World War II wasn't only fought with tanks and fleets, it was a race of labs, code, rooms, factories, and field workshops. The discoveries and accelerations below didn't just shape battles. They rewired science, medicine, and everyday life. This article is written for clean voiceover, clear sentences, neutral tone, no graphic detail, early warning radar, and the cavity magnetron Brit. As coastal radar chain could spot incoming raids far over the channel, buying precious minutes for fighters to climb in position. The real leap came with the cavity magnetron, a compact source of powerful microwaves that made small, precise radar sets practical. Night fighters, anti-submarine aircraft, and gun-laying radars suddenly saw farther and clearer. Radar turned time into a weapon. The warning it gave often mattered more than the rounds it directed. The proximity fuse a tiny radio and detector in the nose of a shell allowed artillery to detonate when it passed close to a target rather than on contact or by a fixed timer. Against aircraft, the new fuse multiplied effectiveness. Against V-1 crews, missiles and mast attacks, it became a lifesaver. Over land, airburst barrages showered troops and vehicles with fragments at just the right height. It was a quiet revolution in how artillery translated math into outcomes. Jet propulsion in combat late. In the war, operational jet fighters arrived. They were fast, temperamental, and few, but they proved the future. The lesson wasn't only speed. It was the need for new tactics, new logistics, and new training around a radically different power plant. Within a few years, jets ceased to be exotic. The war's last months previewed the next era of flight. Ballistic missiles Stavita brought guided long-range ballistic missiles from concept to brutal reality. As a terror weapon, it was wasteful. As technology, it was foundational. Engineers and hardware crossed borders after the war, feeding both superpowers rocket programs. The line from wartime tests stands to early satellites and crude capsules as direct. Electronic code breaking and colossus breaking the highest level enemy teleprinter traffic required more than brilliant minds. It required fast, reliable electronics. Colossus, built to attack the Lorenz cipher, was among the first electronic, programmable digital machines ever used in operation. It did not look like a modern computer, but it thought like one fast enough to turn code work from craft into industry. The Enigma story a chain of insights beginning with Polish cryptologists and expanded at Bletchley Park turned a notoriously complex cipher into a solvable problem at scale. The payoff was strategic. Convoys rerouted away from wolf packs, U-boats ambushed, air raids anticipated, and deception plans refined. Signals intelligence became a force multiplier that never fired a shot. Loren radio navigation vast oceans and bad weather once meant dead reckoning and guesswork. Long-range radio navigation gave ships and aircraft accurate fixes day or night. It tightened convoy lanes, shortened routes, and reduced the fog factor that had claimed so many lives at sea. Long before satellite navigation, there was a radio network quietly teaching fleets to know where they were. Pressurized bombers and centralized fire controlled a long-range bomber that introduced fully pressurized crew compartments showed how systems integration wins wars. Remote, centralized turrets, slave to computing sites, let a handful of gunners cover multiple arcs. Crews could fly higher and farther in relative comfort with sensors and fire control working as a coordinated whole instead of as scattered guns. HFDF Haftoff. High frequency direction. Finding sounds simple. Take bearings on a radio signal and draw lines on a map. In practice, it turned the U-boat's greatest strength its ability to coordinate by radio into a vulnerability. Escort ships with compact sets could catch a submarine's brief transmission, triangulate it, and bring the fight to the hunter. The Battle of the Atlantic turned not only on tonnage and torpedoes, but on angles and timing. Microwave cook and a radar engineer noticed a chocolate bar melting near a magnetron and asked why. The answer became a peacetime miracle of convenience. Microwaves heat water molecules inside food. Post-war. The clumsy prototypes slimmed down into kitchen appliances that changed how families ate and how restaurants prepped. A serendipity of defense work entered the home. Penicillin, at scale Alexander Flaming. As discovery became a battlefield fact when scientists and industry found high-yield strains 
and industrial fermentation methods. By the time of the great invasions, penicillin production was measured in barrels, not vials. Infections that once doomed the wounded fell dramatically. Of all wartime technologies, few saved more lives more quietly. Blood plasma and the modern blood bank separating plasma. Standardizing collection. And building cold chain logistics turned transfusion from a hospital trick into a theater-wide capability. The organizational work standards, labeling, storage mattered as much as science. The wartime blood system would later become a peacetime institution that still saves lives daily. Synthetic rubber when access to natural rubber collapsed, chemistry filled the gap. A national program marshaled refineries, pipelines, and polymer science to create styrene butadine rubber at scale. Tires, seals, hosey small parts that keep big machines moving continued to flow. The result was not glamorous, but wars and economies run on reliable materials. Nylon parachutes and webbing silk shortages forced innovation. Nylon, a new polymer, proved strong, resilient, and weather-resistant. Test jumps. Established trust soon. Nylon canopies and harnesses were standard. The material then spilled into civilian life, from stockings to rope, a reminder that fibers can be as strategic as steel. Duct tape's field, the region's a uh, munitions plant idea, became a battlefield staple. A tough, water-resistant cloth tape that sealed ammo boxers and fixed almost anything. Soldiers discovered a thousand uses. After the war, it turned gray and followed heating ducts then entered the toolbox as an all-purpose fix. Sometimes the most transformative inventions are made of fabric and glue. Superadhesive zeonoacrylates were discovered by accident while searching for better gun sights. Too sticky for optics, perfect for bonding almost anything. The chemistry would mature after the war into instant glues that changed manufacturing, repair, and even emergency medicine. A failed pathfinder found a different target. DDT and vector control insect-borne disease once killed more soldiers than bullets in many wars. Widespread spraying and dusting with a new pesticide slashed typhus. And malaria rates in crowded camps and front later decades would reveal ecological costs and drive tight regulation. But wartime vector control proved that public health could be maneuvered like a brigade. Higgins' boat turning the sea into a workable ramp required a certain kind of boat. Shallow draft sturdy hull, and a bow door. Mass-produced landing craft moved men and jeeps directly onto hostile beaches from the Pacific to Normandy. The design converted naval power into feet on sand, hour after hour, tide after tide. Amphibious truck six-wheel vehicles that swam from ship to shore and then drove inland shrank the gap between supply ships and foxholes. They ferried ammunition, fuel, and food. Over surf and sand without piers, Logistics won quiet victories with every load that arrived without a port. Ballpoint pens and thin air fountain pens leaked at altitude. A balance socket tip did not. Air crews adopted the new pen because it worked where others failed. After the war, the tough little writing instrument conquered desks worldwide. Not every wartime innovation explodes or flies. Some simply write. Closing reflexi from antennas to antibiotics from polymers to programmable machines. Wartime pressures compressed years of development into months. Some ideas saved lives immediately. Others seeded entire industries. Many were imperfect, costly, or morally fraught in their first forms. Yet taken together, they mark a hinge in modern history. A moment when science, logistics, and information fused into a new way of making power.